Okay, so. Uh, hello. It is now 4.30 in the morning and the first rays of sunshine should be there in about an hour. So I'm gonna hike up some slippery rock and um, see if I can see the sunrise. In the car now it's got about minus two degrees so that's pretty cold. Actually I don't really mind cold weather but I'm gonna sit there for two hours at least so <laughs> I guess that's gonna be interesting but I packed an anti-liter of Earl Grey which should keep me warm and a pillow and a blanket so I don't die out there <laughs> and it just had to scratch some ice off the windshield because it is cold outside and now I'm gonna drive as close to the rock as possible in order to watch the sunrise which was my goal and I want to draw there but I want to find out at what point it is bright enough to draw probably shortly before seven because seven o'clock is exactly when the sun rises but of course it gets brighter earlier and maybe I get some nice view up there <laughs> so see you soon um, I have to start the car now and I have nowhere to place the phone so until then Hi friends I'm here I'm not on the rock I have to walk there and you're not gonna see me because first of all it's dark and second of all I've got the front camera on um, so yeah, and I'm just talking into the black screen. I hope that's not too boring. And I will switch you off again until I'm there because I will need my camera flashlight. I, I can hardly see the ground and there's still some street lights in um, behind me. But I know once I'm in the forest it's gonna be too dark so I'll see you hopefully very soon. I have reached the rock and as you can see or rather can't see it is pretty dark out here. Um, I'm gonna climb up there now of course I'm gonna use a flashlight but for some reason it doesn't work while I'm filming otherwise you might see some well maybe a tiny bit and the interesting thing were or was there were no dogs outside because usually you can find dogs at any time of the day. Suppose it was still a bit too dark to walk dogs. But it's nice to have the town for myself once and you might not be able to see it but there is a road on the right and you can see some cars but it's very faintly and you can see a lot of stars also. The air is so fresh up here. I'm not, I'm not high in the mountains or everything, anything. <laughs> See, it's because it's only five in the morning. But compared to Vienna, this is like, I don't know, breathing in pure diamonds. There is no smoke. There's no motorway near. At least I can't see it. So now I have about two hours to enjoy the air and um, walking up really warmed me up so I don't even have to put my fingers in my pockets because I'm really heated up. I just shouldn't take off the jacket because then I might cool down too much. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna climb the small rock. I would say it's about three meters high as best. It's not big, but um, it, there's, there's quite a slope behind it. So uh, you you see... A very nice horizon hopefully we will see I'll keep you updated <laughs> I've got around 90 minutes until sunrise so right now it is still pretty dark but um, you can see the street lights far far away and there's an Eurasian eagle owl which is called Uhu in German because that's the noise it makes so every few seconds I can hear a who <laughs> I don't really sound like the original and um, I don't think that the microphone can pick it up but to my left 
which you probably don't see. So here on the right, there's the the town or the edge of the town. And to my left is the forest and you can hear some animal sounds. But I didn't see anything yet. So there's no um, nobody walking their dogs, which would be behind me where the path is. And I didn't see any foxes or anything either. Sometimes there are foxes, but probably not so close to where the people are. I'm not sure. They probably heard me long time before I would have heard them. So no foxes for me. Oh, and there is also a tower. I guess it's an antenna and there is a red light blinking. So that there is nothing crashing into it. And I can still see almost all the stars. It's amazing how many stars there are. Um, I thought I just saw a um, a falling star, like a comet, but it it's moving and it's blinking and it seems to be an airplane, <laughs> which is a bit disappointing. And there's the the Great Dipper. I can see that one easily. I mean, I, of course, there's more constellations that I can make out, but I don't know all the names in English. And from here it's a bit hard to see because there's a tree right next to me, so half of the sky is tree. Um, but yeah, the, the Great Dipper is something that usually everyone can see quite easily. It's very big and very prominent. Uh, let's see what's here on the left. There's another airplane. Not a constellation. Yeah. So, um, see you in about 20 minutes. All right, so, um, it's now getting a bit lighter outside. It's still too dark to draw. And it's also a bit too cold to draw because I haven't been moving for about an hour now. And um, yeah, my, my fingers are getting cold. So I keep them mostly in my pockets. I keep drinking my tea, which is fine. But as soon as I get my hands out of the pockets, it's getting cold. There's hardly any more, um, any more stars visible. I can s still kind of make out the Great Dipper and some other large stars and um, two or three constellations um, and yeah I hope you can see the street lights but the horizon is I oh, might see it if I put the contrast up a bit um, but here in the back you can already see yeah that's clearly visible so um, the sun is beginning to rise more and more in I guess in about half an hour it's gonna be pretty bright and in an hour we will have the official sunrise so I hope get some nice videos out of there and I hope it was worth getting up here because I had to get up at 4 30 in the morning it is cold um well right now I'm not tired I'm a bit lower energy but also um I feel like I had 10 Red Bull and <laughs> strange but look at this nice color gradient so yeah we're gonna see and hear from each other when we've reached civil dawn which should be in about half an hour bye quick update i can hear some more birds i'm not sure what type of birds they are but um now the sky is getting brighter every minute we're still in the nautical twilight, so it's going to take a few more minutes until we've reached the um, civil twilight zone. But yeah, I guess you could already see the horizon. So here's a tree, um, down here would be the forest, here's the second tree, and down here there's... Um, we have town city uh that's where the sun is beginning to rise very soon and up here in the mountain there's also a tower 
which used to be a castle in the Middle Ages, but now it's just a, a, a bunch of stones, power-shaped stones. So yeah, until later. <laughs> that um we've reached the civil dawn and um as you can see behind me it it looks already very like daylight and behind me here is um where the sun is going to rise so um it's still half an hour until sunrise 30 minutes exactly or Oh, 31 actually, it's 31 minutes. Um, I said I wanted to sketch, but <laughs> yes, um, it's a bit too cold to leave my hands outside. So I've got them in my pockets. And down here, I have a pillow and um, my my headphones and everything. But yeah, it's um, it's getting kind of cold. <laughs> I'm quite warm under my trousers and my jackets, but mm, my fingers are suffering. So I will switch off the phone again and keep my hands warm until it's sunrise, which means that the sun is crossing the horizon. But it already looks very lovely. And um, yeah, I've got some nice pictures too for Instagram. <sighs> on the sunrise I thought I was just going to show you the area where I was sitting all the time so here are my feet and you can finally see my feet until now it's been a bit too dark to see them but it's uh, gotten lighter very quickly this is the tree I'm sitting next to and here's the rock and in the back you can see the old castle maybe I can zoom in oh yes and there's also some villas but i'm gonna give you a better view of that later and i climbed up here it doesn't look high but if it's dark and slippery you know it's quite a challenge and yeah that has been my setup for the last almost two hours and i'm gonna see you in about 10 to 15 minutes of course it's shorter in youtube time but for me i still have to wait 15 minutes until it's um sunrise time and i suppose it's gonna take a bit longer because as you can see i'm surrounded by hills please don't call them mountains they're not very high it's just hills um but that's gonna take a bit longer for the sun to rise not much, I suppose, but, you know, a few minutes, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so here's some nice castle experience. By It is two minutes before sunrise, and you can already see a shadow. The red stuff is where the sun is. I mean, of course, as long as I'm in the shadow, I can't see the sun. And the, the black stuff here. So this is no sun this is sun and this is hopefully soon gonna be sun in a few minutes <laughs> and yeah um the camera is a bit shaky because my hands are cold that's it my dudes it's officially sunrise um theoretically <laughs> but now you can properly see um, about half of the hills being illuminated by sunlight. Some of the houses are also um, getting some sun rays. And here you can see the castles or villas. Or, I don't know. Very big houses. <laughs> so, it's a quick overview. There's also um, there's the tower up here, but you can't see it because it's hidden by trees and I'm not gonna go up here today because um, it's full of pigeon poop which I don't really like. Um, this is limestone I think and yeah here's um, the danger zone. So I'm gonna go down again now back to the car and get some fresh bread for breakfast 
And then I'm gonna take a shower and go to sleep again <laughs> probably because I'm tired and I'm cold but it was totally worth it. So yeah, back to the car it is. I'm back in the car and I got some breakfast. <laughs> I can um, already feel my fingers again, but that's it for today, so I'm done filming for now. <laughs> I'm gonna take a warm shower, so I hope you liked it and give me a one like, please. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, but yeah, it, it was fun. I think it was totally worth it. I'm a bit cold, but I'm also very happy, so uh, see you next week and bye!